Hi, huh? Huh, huh? Huh, 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 <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Anyways guys, hey guys, Anfidum here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today we are going to be playing a minigame by the name of Memorize Blocks. It was made by Brutech a couple of months ago, and uh, yeah, if you're wondering what's going on, well, definitely... Yeah, there's, 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 there's things going on and stuff, that's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, uh, today is a mini game again. It's called memorize blocks and what you have to do is a random structure is going to spawn in that location right there And then you just have to try and memorize it and you have to try and rebuild it and uh, What you can you know test to see if the structure you've built is uh, You know nearly correct or, or anything like that without getting too much into it I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it a try uh, just give it a start here I'm gonna start with one black wool in my inventory here And then I'm just gonna hit this generate new structure button and then uh, you're just gonna see a you know a real a weird little structure generate before your very eyes and uh, Yeah, okay, so this is gonna be interesting here So again the goal is to try and memorize what is like, you know, what's gonna you know what the structure is So what I might try and do is I might try and think okay The thing has like two legs and then it has this sort of cross-section right here And then there are three blocks that go up like that and I can just try and memorize everything that's going on with this Though it would probably take me a little while, but I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna give it my very best you know, as a villager of, of, you know, as a villager of today, you know, as someone who has uh, come down with the villager syndrome, I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give this a try. So anyways, uh, I could try and think of this in, as like, you know, a Tetris board or something like that, but uh, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. So I just have to remember it has like legs and it has, you know, the little stick out thing here. Then there's an upside down T on top of it. Then there's an upside down T there. And then there's, you know, it's sort of like an extended T, so instead of it being just that, it's, okay, so it's got, it's got this thing going on with the upside down T, with the extended T, with the zigzag, then with another extended T coming off of the right leg, oh my god, this actually, this actually might work! Okay, hang on, wait a minute here, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, this might actually work. Okay, let's really try and think this out here. So, we got the two legs that start three blocks from the left. And then we have the little thing that jets out from here. Then we have the upside down T, which is laying on top of it. And then we have a block that's sort of, you know, just, just out that way from it. Then we have an extended upside down T. Then we have an extended, ex extended zigzag off from this leg here. So I can try and imagine that. So the extended zigzag, then we got a zigzag here. Then we have a triple line on top of it, which extends to the very end. So I could really try and remember this. Oh my god, this this might work. This may work. I'm not really too sure. But I think I'm just gonna have to give it a try. Okay, let's go and let's do this. Uh, I don't want to hit generate new structure because I've done such a... I think I've done a good job here. So there. Okay, bam. Here we go. Okay, so from one, two, three. We need this one right here. We need that. We need that. Okay, so that extends off of that. There's the two legs here. Um, oh my god. See, I'm already for I'm already forgetting. I'm already forgetting. Wow. Um, the upside down T shape. Okay, so well, there's the extended zigzag here. So there's this, and then it goes one extra. And then there's sort of an extended there, and then there's just sort of a regular zigzag here, uh, I think. And then there's this, which goes off that way. Okay, I remember that much. And then the upside down T shape, I believe, is right here. And then we got, uh, let's see, we got this thing going on right there. Okay, and then there's the there's the extended T shape that I'm not 100% sure as to how it works. I think it's like this, though. I think there is the T shape right there, but then it's actually extended like that. Okay, if I remember correctly, that's actually the shape, if I remember correctly. Though, I'm pretty sure that I'm probably remembering incorrectly, but I do, again, I remember the upside down T-shape the way this is. This is obviously the edge, which would make that correct. Um, and then the T-shape doing that. Then it had those three blocks. Let me do it. Let me do a check. Okay, so this, there's a little lever here that says just give me the statistics. And then this one will actually tell you which ones are correct and incorrect. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to check. I just want the statistics. I just want to see if I got that on my first try. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh! Oh, I got it on my first try. My first practice round I ever did of this, I actually uh, did not get that. So, wow, that's awesome. 
I, I guess I figured out a way to properly memorize things like that by using the logic of Tetris. And I don't think that's going to work every time. I think it just kind of worked out in this case. So that's, that's awesome. I can't believe I got that on my very first try. And of course, out of paranoia now, I need to check. Yep, okay. I was checking my recording software to make sure my audio was recording, you know, just so you guys heard that fantasticalness that just happened. But anyways, um, yeah, that, okay. So we got it on our very first try. This game almost doesn't even seem challenging. But if it's not challenging for you, then there's a little something that you can do here. So that was actually the easiest mode that I could have done. There's that. So that was the five block, six, five row, sixty block row thing. Then there's ten blocks, fifteen to, and it goes all the way up to forty rows. Forty rows, guys. Okay, let's generate a forty row structure. That's gonna go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. I I bet. I, I wonder, you know, I'm, I think I should just, it looks like there's a lot of randomness going on here. I don't think Tetris is going to help me out here. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to up it to the next difficulty. So let's go ahead and let's not, let's not kid ourselves here. Uh, let's just up ourselves to the next difficulty. So it seems like we got some straight lineage going on. One, two, three, four, five, like six rows up. We're only missing two blocks in the whole thing. Uh... I, my brain almost sees like a, a hexagon stop sign shape that wanted to work but didn't. I see more blocks on the left side than I do the right, especially in the bottom right hand corner. The bottom right hand corner has the most amount of them, but I truthfully don't believe I'm going to be able to really get this. The only thing I'm going to be able to remember is that the bottom row had three that started two away. And then that this entire left side here kind of just did did its thing. So here's an extended Tetris piece, but I'm just going to go and I'm going to go random with it because uh, I had that perfection of a perfect round. I figured I might as well ruin it with this round. So anyways, let's just go ahead and let's see here. So I am ready. Teleport me. Uh, yeah. So anyways, so there's this. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I had this thing going on, which I think went on for about that many blocks. It, again, I had the whole stop sign thing that was trying to do its thing. I had more blocks in this area, so I'm just kind of trying, you know, whatever. Um, it goes up 10 rows only, so I know that I don't have to worry about much of that. Um, I don't know how much of this I had. I don't think it was that much. Um, I do know, again, it wasn't one, two, three, four, five, six rows. I had most of the blocks, I think. It was either six or seven rows up. And it was only missing, like, that this one and then, like that one or something I'm not even really sure it was something like that not really too sure I know that I didn't have that many blocks sitting together so that's one two three four five six and then I'm gonna just gonna set seven eight and then nine and then I'm just gonna do ten it was, again it was some a little something like that I, I do know that it was like an incomplete shape though the whole hexagon thing that I had in mind that was going on uh, again, I do remember there being more blocks on the left side, but not th not this much more. I don't want to dramatize it in my head here, but okay, okay. Let's just you know, I, I I'm just placing random blocks at this point, guys. I don't I don't know. I really I really don't. Okay, let's go and let's try one right here. I'm definitely gonna have more incorrect blocks than I have correct blocks. So okay, so let's go and let's let's check our data here. So the left side, the bottom left needs more. I can definitely say that much. So the bottom left. Now has the largest percentage of blocks. Let's go and let's check this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're up to that now. And I think... I, I, I don't... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the check button here. It's going to be mostly wrong, I'm sure. Oh, wow. I Oh, wow. I have quite a few correct blocks. That's way more correct blocks than I, than I expected. <laughs> Wow, so I actually got two-thirds of the blocks correct on that. And so, if, so, if I want to check to see which ones are correct and which ones are incorrect, here's a little color code thing here. If I want to go ahead and I want to do that, well, actually, I don't need those blocks at all. But, um... This will t the light air, uh, the light blue wool blocks will tell me that it's air, and the white wool told me that it was supposed to be black, uh, supposed to be black wool, and the ones that remain black wool are the ones that you know I got correct actually. So uh, you can see I did get a fair amount correct actually. So the ones that were blue are ones that I placed down but were incorrect. So the still the fact that I got two thirds of them correct, not that bad. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you guys, for example, I'm just going to break all of the, the light blue ones, 
break all of those, whatever. Okay, here we go. You know, just bam, break them all. And then I'm going to replace all the white ones with the black wool. And then you're going to see that obviously they're all going to show up as correct. So the fact that I got that many even, I'm, I'm truthfully surprised. So uh, not a total failure, though if it were a test in high school... Uh, I would have failed it, at least in my high school, because in my high school, uh, you had to get a 70 to pass. I know in most high schools, or at least quite a few, it's a 60. So I would have passed, if that were the case, I would have passed by 6 points, or 6.666 repeating points. So, uh, you know, what is what is your pass or fail grade in your school, if you guys go to school? Uh, but yeah, anyways, so that is the correct board. Uh, if I go ahead and I hit check here. It is now going to label that all of the blocks are correct because I have replaced all of the other ones. So yeah, uh, the first game I got a 100, the second one I got a 66. So if this were a class, I would have passed the class because I would have gotten the only two assignments. Um, the average would have come out to a passing grade for me. So yeah. <laughs> So anyways, guys, uh, I hope you all have enjoyed uh, this, you know, little mini game showcase thingy. I hope you all have an, a happy April Fool's Day. Uh, happy April 1st. My name is Ant-Venom, and I bid you all farewell, guys. Thanks so much for watching.